Hey, Motor. This is the tour we took at VAM 23 for the Pocahontas coal mine. This is the lady that did a great job on giving us a tour, telling us about the coal mine and stuff. And what a lot of people didn't realize, or, you know, what I didn't even realize is that most coal mines are actually only a few feet, like three or four feet up. But this is inside the exhibition mine. Uh, they had some displays inside and uh, it, it, it was pretty interesting stuff that the stories are just too many to, to try and explain in this short little video about the Pocahontas coal mine. But if you're ever in the area, uh, you should tour the place. It's pretty cool. But there is a, a, like a cart coming up here, I think. I forget which order I've got these in. I'm overdubbing. But she was talking about how uh, they do, you know, they, they have to like support stuff uh, on the ceiling and the walls. Um, this one has a, a fish above that bolt-like thing. There's a fossilized fish up in there. Uh, there's a several shots of the of the fish fossil. That you know, there's just like I said, I'm doing overdubs. I'm looking at the slides, and it's pretty cool. Um, these I think were tree branches that were fossilized. This little lighter colored lines that you're seeing in this, if I remember right, those were tree branches. This was a snake. Uh, a fossilized snake going up in there, but it was just really interesting that where the arrow is pointing to that black scene there. Uh, they, I think, I forget what they call that part, but it, it makes a widow maker, and that means that when that coal loosens up, that great big rock will fall out. But this little uh, rail car here is filled with coal, and the miners used to have to fill it to the top and then put their number on, on the top. They only got paid for the lower level, that miner's hump on the top where they put that tag there. Uh, that was all free. And this is a, a fossilized uh, tree stump. You can see this. You can see the black lines going through it again. That would be something that could become a widow maker, fall down and kill you. Um, so they have to drill holes and run up these pipes, you know, bolts and whatever. And I forget what you were saying, something about this water, but at one point, uh, the one of the mines got, it caught on fire or something, and they couldn't get the guys out, so they just filled in the mine and then flooded it with water and then left it sit there for, you know, quite a while to put out the fire. So, out of the kindness of their heart, the mine owners, after they drained the thing out and took out the bodies, they donated, I forget, it was like six acres of land to bury them, and gee, aren't you kind? lock them in there, flood them out, kill them all, and then, you know, that's sad. But this is an automatic miner or something. I forget what they call it. But it would dig through. This is a transportation device. People would actually have to crawl up inside there where that little chute is. I'm pointing at the screen. <laughs> you can't see me. But uh, they would sit inside there. Uh, very uncomfortable. But that's how low the mines actually were. They had to duck down inside those things to, to ride through the mine. So most mines were not that tall, but this is an example of cribbing where they had to have some support beams going on and, and then they, you know, put some beams going up to help support it. Uh, the thing with this, if you could see the rat by his foot and up by his, you know, thigh, uh, they used to bring in rats. They, they liked having rats because the canaries could tell if there was toxic gas, but the rats were more sensitive to vibrations, meaning that there might be a collapse in the mine. So they would actually feed these rats like pets. And if the rats started scurrying out of the mine, they'd skedaddle and get out of the mine themselves because they knew that the rats were feeling a vibration. And this is the wall. I forget what she called this stuff, but the wall will just wash out with the coal and then the whole wall can collapse uh, and kill people. Uh, pretty dangerous stuff. The, the life of a coal miner, especially back then, was really, really rough. And they were not paid very well. That hump I was showing you earlier, um, if, a, if that was coming back out and a rock fell in it, they dumped the whole load and wouldn't even, wouldn't even pay the miner for it. Uh, if your little tag fell off, they wouldn't sit and try to figure out whose, whose it was. They just wouldn't pay you for it. But this was the end of the tour. Uh, you know, that's Tech Nick Rides. That's Nick. He's Him and his wife are really fine folks. You should go subscribe to Tech Nick Rides. Sorry, I had to kind of rush through that. So uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, Motor Warriors. And remember to live your lives with the heart of a Viking warrior. Bye for now.